I'm Katherine Austin and welcome to Living Karma Yoga, a show where we celebrate all that the yoga world has to offer, from the postures to music, mantra, meditation, travel, cooking, and so much more. Yoga for one hour just isn't enough in today's busy world, so we like to help you take your yoga off the mat and into your life. I hope you find here many tools to help you live the life you deserve, a life where you can literally vibrate love, joy, fulfillment, and abundance in all forms. So our guest today is Allison Kaplan, one of our teachers from Karma Yoga. And for 30 years, Allison has taught group fitness in the Metro Detroit area. She has a successful personal training business where she loves the unique one-on-one -on -one experience with her clients. Embracing a yogic lifestyle and teaching yoga for 15 years has brought new beauty and grace to Allison's life and teaching in abundant ways. She brings a powerful yet light-hearted and spiritual approach to helping people get and stay healthy and fit and embrace their inner strength and courage. So thanks for being with us today. Oh, it's great. Love to be here. I'm really excited because this segment today is about a new class that's coming up at Bloomfield Hills in our soon-to-be West Bloomfield location, and it's called Karma Fusion. Right. And it's a class that's going to combine like a little bit of everything that a lot of people search out for in their fitness regime, but maybe they could get it all under one roof as a holistic approach. So share us what we're going to experience. Well, basically what it is, it's a fusing or a blending, if you will, of resistance work with, which women need and obviously men as well, um, with light weights. We're going to use focus on light weights, high repetition, so women don't have to worry about the whole bulking issue. Right. Um, we're going to use resistance bands, which is wonderful for the joints and connective tissues. And we'll also be using the core balls. So we can do some great stability work and resistance work with those as well. And we'll be incorporating that with our Hatha yoga poses. So it's just really a fun, flowing environment. Mm -hmm. We can still have that, you know, community yogic feel when you come into the class. Your mats are there. You have your yoga space and you have, you know, your like-minded yoga souls that you get to see every day instead of kind of, you know, the banging, jamming right. atmosphere of the gym that maybe not everybody wants, but they want a little bit more. They want more of the workout. Mm -hmm. And not everybody necessarily has the luxury of taking five or six or eight classes a week. Right. That's what I like. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's a real, you know, get to hone on that. So for an hour and 15 minutes, I mean, you get it all. You get your yoga, you get a little bit of the meditative, calming experience. We definitely work on our um, consciousness skills, our mindfulness skills. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one of our mottos for the Karma Fusion class is extreme mindfulness mm -hmm. because we take mindfulness and yoga to another level because when we're adding weights or bringing another tool into the yoga environment, we have to be even that much more cautious and careful so as not to hurt ourselves. Perfect. And fun music, right? Fun beats, oh, great beats. Great. Radio play music. All right. So we don't have a lot of time. We're going to have a little sample class today. So yeah. I'm going to let you guys get going and okay. I'll see you at the end. Thanks. Okay. So today here we have Stephanie who is going to show sort of like the full on <coughs> excuse me, version of the poses. Let's stand up, girls. And Patricia will show us the modifications. So we're going to start at the top of the mat, and the first thing that our lovely students are going to do today is take us through a full vinyasa. So coming right to the top of the mat, Steph, and a nice inhale, circling those arms all the way up, breathing deep, collecting that wonderful energy. Exhale, folding forward, big exhale. Lifting up halfway, strong, long spine. Exhale, back to plank pose. We'll take a couple breaths here really hooking into your center core power core strength as women we constantly want to hook into our center to our power so we're going to go through chaturanga or low push-up or patricia's coming to her knees little up dog cobra good using those strong abdominals to go back into down dog beautiful so in a typical class we might do this three to five times okay so we'll rise up to the tippy toes float the feet to the top of the mat and that's an inhale exhale melt the heart Circle the arms all the way back up to the top once again. Beautiful. And we're going to come into Utkatasana this time. So that's our chair pose. Very nice. We're going to take a nice prayer twist to the right. Good. A nice exhale. Inhale, float the arms back up. And changing size, exhale to the left. Lovely. Exhale, fold forward. 
Beautiful, right over those legs. Halfway lift, inhale. Good, float back and flowing all the way through once again. Inhale, opening the heart, flowing right through those shoulders. Beautiful, strong core takes you back. Lovely, let's bring those feet right away to the top of the mat. Nice, okay, so right from here, we're gonna go into our first set with our weights. We're gonna catch a hold of the weights, all right? Bring them right in. So you're gonna bring those weights right to our hips. The belly's gonna hug in very tight, long spine. We never run around with weights. Firm feet, inhale, rise all the way to standing. We're gonna bring those weights right together and squeeze them together so right away, the girls can feel the chest muscles working, right? So we're gonna work the chest, shoulders, belly, and sink into our squat. Okay, sink nice and deep, maybe into the squat or not so deep. So we're gonna feel everything going on right here, right? So we're gonna go down a little bit deeper and rise up. So in a normal class, we might do this about 10 to 15 times. But for today, we're gonna to work this about four to six times. So we're working hard here, breath is flowing, beautiful. So let's hold on down right here, squeeze the belly, little presses here. So a little lift and lower, little lift and lower. So working these intense little squeezes, that's it. That's where we really start feeling the intensity. Beautiful, keep going. That's it, keeping that chin level to the earth, heart is always forward, that's it. And now we're gonna to come to a nice hold here, about halfway down, finding that sweet spot, everything squeezing, everything holding but the breath. Breath is always flowing, that's it. Beautiful, so let's flush it out again and go all the way down. And now we're gonna add the arm work and go down and straight up adding a shoulder press. So let's do this four times, girls. So down and up, that's it, down and up, reaching knuckles to sky. Perfect, good. So kind of holding the weights here like hammers. There you go, down and up. Three more, that's it, beautiful. Bombs reaching way back, feet grounding firmly. That's it. And another way we can do this is alternating the arms. So keep the lower body working, that's it. Good, so working the shoulders, getting a little tricep work going on. Awesome. One more on each side, and then we're gonna change it up again. Nice, let's fold forward over those legs, place the weights right down, inhale, rise to the fingertips, exhale, flowing all the way through. Hug the belly in, good, lower down, open the heart, exhale, go back, downward facing dog, lovely. Come into plank pose once again, Patricia's gonna come to her knees, we're gonna take a set of yoga push-ups right here, really focusing on belly strength. So about five right here, down and up we go, beautiful. So here's our typical yoga push-up where the elbows are hugged in, really focusing on triceps. But there's also the possibility of going a little bit wider, focusing a little bit on the chest. So we could open these arms up, Stephanie, a little bit wider and hit the chest area a little bit. Try a couple just like that. That a girl, good. Beautiful, down dog, ladies. Pick the right leg up behind you. Whoa, that's okay, good. You never know what you're gonna run into in life anyways. <laughs> hug that knee right underneath, that's it. Step your foot right through your hand, step right onto it, hug the belly in, catch your weights right here once again. Bring them up onto your thigh. Good, stay connected to your center, firm feet, okay? Beautiful, take the arms up overhead. How's that feel right there? Good, everybody good? Okay, so we're gonna lower the knee down with a shoulder press. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna take it down and press. Down and press. A few more times, down and press. Down, this is another way to do a shoulder press and really start loading those glute muscles. Firing up those glute muscles. Very important that we do that. That's it. Okay, holding right up there. Lower the arms down, bring them by your side. And we're just gonna lean forward here a little bit, straighten the back leg and bring in the back foot in just a little bit. Starting to work into the back. So an overhand grip, a little bit wide, excellent. And just rowing straight back, working into the back muscles. So the focus is on squeezing between the shoulder blades. There we go. Three more, just like that, nice and smooth. Squeeze right here, no reason to lock out those joints. Excellent. Good, chin reaches out, heart reaches forward, breath flowing, belly firm. Let's hold the next one up, little pulses back. One, two, three. The nice thing about these little squeezes, it gets very intense. You can feel the intensity very quick. Good, it gives the joints a break, you feel that? Nice, and now we have a four count hold. Normally it might be a 10 count hold. One, two, three, 
four, five, and release. Place the weights down. Inhale, circle the arms all the way back up over your head. Beautiful, big breath. Exhale, flow all the way through. Nice. Good, lowering down, inhale, heart opens. Exhale, empty, strong belly. Beautiful, left leg lifts right away. Good, swing it all the way through. Nice, pick up your weights once again. So ground, connect, bring your hands right onto your thighs. Beautiful. Okay, so right here, left leg forward, we're gonna try something different on this side. Again, it's gonna be a back exercise. We're gonna do a narrow grip, so palms facing one another, and you'll see the elbows are gonna slide right by the ribs. Go for it. Back and forward, good. So we're also getting a little bicep work here. Those are the assisting muscles right now. Can you feel that? And squeeze your belly every time. Good, if you lunge forward just a little bit more, as long as the knee doesn't slide in front of the toe, you're okay. Then you're really gonna feel the load in the heel, Consequently, getting a nice little butt lift, right? Who doesn't want it? Everybody wants it, right? Great. Okay, let's go into those little squeezes. One, two, really squeeze. Even squeezing the dumbbell a little bit with your hand, not too much, will fire up those back muscles a little bit more. Now let's try that hold again. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful release to stretch it. Don't let go though, okay? Don't let go. Good, step your back foot in a little bit more, Stephanie, and lift your chest up a little bit. We're gonna have a little fun with this one, okay? So this is what's gonna happen. We're just gonna kinda start pumping, adding a little balance. Let's see, just try it. You gotta be willing to have a little bit of fun. This is gonna take the cardio up a little bit. There you go, squeeze in the belly, using your focus. Remember that whole drishti? Yeah? Outside I look, inside I see. There you go, squeeze <laughs> that belly, beautiful. Last four. Three, two, and one. Step together at the top of the mat this time, you guys. Great. Fold forward. Lovely. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Beautiful. Exhale, dive all the way inside. Let everything go. Flush it out. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, flowing all the way back. Lovely. Lower down slowly. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, strong abdominals. Good, bend the knees and float to the top of the feet. Big inhale. So the girls are getting pretty warm right now. I can kind of see that, good. All right, pick up your weights once again. All right, beautiful. As a matter of fact, Stephanie's gonna grab the heavier weights this time, okay? There we go, she has options. That's why we have two different sets of weights. Pick the weights and lift straight up. Again, never rounding the back. All right, we're gonna get into a little bit of bicep work here, okay? And again, we're gonna reload and keep reloading these glute muscles, okay? So she's gonna start with a nice straight bicep curl, okay? So start curling, good. And as these weights go up, she's gonna take it back and pump it in, back and in. That's it, that a girl. Lowering the knee down, doesn't need to touch. Good, and Patricia is just gonna barely bend that knee back there. And she also is just gonna use one arm at a time. Lovely. And now, step together and we'll change sides and we're gonna change the exercise where it becomes a W. So we work the bicep in a different way. Front curl, side curl, go for it girls. There you go, excellent. Relaxing the jaw so the breath is flowing. That's why a little bit of a smile is always important because when the mouth is open, you know the breath is flowing, even if you're trying to hold your breath. Okay, beautiful. That's it, excellent. Nice, keep going. Now another way to change this up would be to alternating the legs. So go right ahead and try that for four. Right leg back, left leg back. Wonderful, good. All right, let's hold the left leg back this time. Nice, extend the arms forward once again. We're gonna try something different here, okay? Rowing the arms up and then adding a tricep extension, getting into the back of the arms. So, good. We get a twofer, I call it. So go down into your row, good. So come down into your row, good, and then go back, that's it. There we go. So we're doubling up here. We've got a row, a lat pull, working the back of the shoulder, good. And then extending through the elbow, working the tricep, back of the upper arm muscles. Spring is coming. Karma Fusion is going to be the perfect class to tone up those tricep muscles, right? And squeeze those abdominal muscles. That's a girl. Beautiful. Try two more. Good. One more after this, and then we're gonna hold it, and we're gonna go back to that little teeny tiny movement. Here we go, little pulses up, 
up. And again, the girls are squeezing their dumbbells just a little bit. You can really feel how that fires up those muscles, right? And here comes that 10 count hold, which is really gonna be four for right now. One, two, three, and four, beautiful. Go ahead and lower the weights down. Inhale, circle the arms all the way back up. Good, circle them up. Need the breath, exhale, flow all the way through. I think those thighs and quads are really speaking. Good, inhale, rise up. Exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Float to the top of the mat, come right to the top of the mat. Okay, catch your lighter weights there, Steph, good. We're gonna try two balancing exercises, okay? Um, we're gonna try, start with a little warrior three action here. So we'll start together here, right foot forward. I think we'll give you a, your right leg a little break, okay? So we'll take the left foot forward, okie doke. And the arms are gonna be over here. So let's just kind of play with, just like we would in our yoga class, we'd sort of like play with learning how to find our balance by focusing on a spot out in front of us, focusing all of our attention there, that's it. Beautiful, focusing on that core strength, beautiful. Patricia's gonna keep it low to the floor, and on the next one, Stephanie's gonna try to stick it up there in Warrior Three. She's gonna shake and quake, but she's gonna embrace it. There we go, look at that, just beautiful. And now she's gonna add the weights lowering down, and then inhale, lift, and squeezing into the back. Rear deltoid muscles, look at that. Go ahead, do two more like that. Beautiful, inhale, exhale, good, inhale. One more, can you keep that leg up and show us a nice row? There we go, elbows, oh, there we go. Sweetness, squeeze that belly. I want you to know everybody out there, this takes tremendous core strength, presence of mind, breath flowing. This has got it all going on in this pose. Beautiful, okay, let those weights go down gracefully. Ooh, I think you should flow all the way through, right? Give it a rest. Oh, that was hard work, ladies. Great job. You can feel how it takes it up a little bit of a notch from your, you know, more traditional, typical yoga class. Good. Come right back to the top of the mat. Left foot forward this time, okay? Go ahead and catch your weights once again. So let's practice picking the weights up. Belly firm, hands to hips. This is a typical Ashtanga pose, lifting straight up. Beautiful. Some of you can tell this entire class really is based on the Ashtanga series. Okay, we kind of are following these poses. All right, so now we're gonna try a little tree pose action here. So grounding through the left foot, Patricia is gonna just balance with one foot maybe on the floor or at the calf muscle, okay? Beautiful. So we're gonna take the weights right up here after Stephanie gets herself together there. There we go, that's some nice balance. So first things first, grounding. Foot connecting to the earth, beautiful. Strong core muscles, nice elevated posture, that's it, great. Chin level to the earth, maybe the gaze is up, breath flowing, and here comes a nice pec squeeze here. There are several exercises we can do with this. This is just one of many. With all of the exercises that we're showing you today, there are many, many variations on the themes, okay? Good, so just for fun, let's try a little bit of a press here, squeeze, two, three, but you can see how this really challenges the balance even further. You know, just like life, you think you're balanced and then boom, something comes at you. You know, and you really have to balance, right? Okay, good. So hold that right there and just hold, inner thigh, sole of foot pressing together. Beautiful, relax, relax, relax. Ah, that's gorgeous. Okay, bring the feet down. Let's take a few little hip rolls, loosen it up, shake it out. Excellent, ladies. Good, all right, fold it forward, nice, let it go. Let's go ahead and pick up our bands now in your left hand, okay? Good, wonderful. Step back to warrior two now, okay? Left foot forward, that's it. And then just extend your arms all the way out. So we're gonna get into a little inner thigh action here as well, okay? So this knee is gonna travel forward just a little bit, back foot grounded. So we're gonna soften these up, and as we add a little pulse in the thigh, we're gonna actually pulse a little bit here. So we're gonna keep these elbows soft, remember Steph, just a little pulse, good. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, back leg working, seven, eight, 
nine. Now we can slow it up and we go a little deeper into the lunge and bring it in. A little deeper into the lunge and so we're using the floor for resistance. Feeling the inner edges of these feet really communicating with the inner thighs, right? Feeling that. That's a good one, right? Yes. Lovely. Okay, now here comes the hold. This is where it gets a little nasty. Okay, so we're going to release from the right hand. The girls are going to take it up with the left hand and we're going to work into a tricep. This is a really interesting exercise. Great one. So they're holding on, I don't know if the camera can see this or not, but they're holding on at the base of the spine with the right hand. Relax a little bit. There you go. And there's a single way to do this where it's pulling up with the left arm, the top arm. Good. There we go. Head straight. That's it. Squeezing the belly. Good. There you go. Excellent. And a way to get a double tricep going, that means both arms, you would start pulling on the bottom one as well. Ooh, there's some fire for you, right? Oh my. Now, to really get that fire sizzling, it's a little pulse. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Definitely breathing now, right? Five, six. Remember, it's breath. It's oxygen that feeds those fires, right? Four, three, two. And here comes our hold. And I know you girls are going to be okay. Three, two, one. And here comes their well-deserved big release. And they're going to let go with one arm and come into triangle pose over the left leg. Lovely. Beautiful. That feels so good. Spinning the low ribs up. Awesome. And folding forward over the left leg now, stepping the back foot in about halfway. Take a deep breath here and just release over that left leg. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Good. Go ahead and change legs. Just do the same thing on the left, even though we didn't really work it there so much on that left. Good. Nice. Alrighty, let's come right down onto our hands and knees, okay? So those were just a couple exercises of many that we did with the band. We're going to come back to the weights here. We're going to put this light weight in the left hand. We're going to come to a spinal extension exercise. Right leg back, left arm out. Okay, everybody got that? Good. So we're going to start by tucking the elbow and the knee together under the heart and squeezing the belly in and out about four times. Then, I'm going to take the ball, the girls, this is one way, we're going to hold right here and they're going to squeeze this nice ball behind their thigh by bending the heel. Good. Bend that heel right in, Patricia, so it stays in there. Good. There it is. Now the knee comes under. Nice squeeze. Excellent. Good. Okay. And let's just alter the arm a little bit. So now we're going to take the elbow out to the side. This is called a lateral raise, like a tabletop. And as the knee comes in, the elbow comes to the inner knee. In and open. Good. Exhale. Squeeze. These are some pretty intense, powerful. That's okay. Just keep going. <laughs> as you see, it can be done with or without the ball. Beautiful. Really, really nice. Okay. We don't have much time here. So let's go ahead and set the weights down. The girls are going to take the ball, come right down onto their bum, and place the ball right behind. We're just going to go into a couple of our quick favorites, okay? I know you guys really like, they love this one. This is your fave, <laughs> right? Yeah. But we're going to go to my first favorite. <laughs> so take one of the weights. We're going to lean back into this ball, okay? And it's very interesting. As you press back into the ball, you get this wonderful resistance. Do you feel that? So it's almost like you get this double crunch thing going on. And then we lift and press it up. Go. So we rise up and fall back into the ball. There's like this rebound energy and action that occurs as you press back into the ball and this wonderful support, right? Yeah. Yeah, this feels really nice. Good. Now let's hold right here, working into the obliques on the sides. And this is what we call a Russian twist in the gym, but keep pressing into the ball. So twist, 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 and reach, and reach. That's it, bend the elbows a little bit, a little bit. Beautiful, excellent. So one more, here comes their favorite. Putting the weight down, we press back. We can do this with weights in our hand. This is called apple picking. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten beautiful take the hands back good so we come up and press up and press back so you can feel that the real work is pressing back okay pressing back it's almost like being on one of those big resistance balls 
because what this does, it gives you a lot of support, so it really stretches the front of the body, increasing the range of motion in the abdominal muscles. Try twisting with that now. Try making an oblique exercise. Oh, there it is. Woo, there's some heat. There's some heat. Excellent, good. Okay, ladies, let's take it out. Okay, stick it between. All right, here comes one of our faves, right? Okay, press it up right here. We can start right here on the forearms, squeezing this ball, squeezing the belly, working these inner thighs for four and three and two and one. And just squeeze, 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 squeeze. And let's just say you've been squeezing it for a whole minute, you need a little release, you're gonna come up onto your hands, keep a gentle squeeze. Inhale, lift your hips up into a nice reverse table. Beautiful, exhale, come down, lift into Nawasana boat pose. Knees squeeze, arms float, keep a squeeze on the ball. Good, aren't they beautiful? They did such a great job today, good. Yeah. Woo! Thank you so much. That was amazing. I'm so excited to really see this happening at Karma. Oh gosh. How do you feel? Good? Awesome. Yeah. Great. So yeah. good. We just didn't get in our longer holding stretches at the end in our Shavasana, which we would always include oh, in the yeah. class. This is phenomenal. What a strength supporting practice to the yoga practice. Definitely. Wow. So you definitely have to find out more. Come to karma-yoga.net. Join us at Bloomfield Hills and in another month, March 1st at West Bloomfield. Thanks for joining us. May the long time sun